This is the first dock to ever use a smart connector to charge your iPad. Part of Logitech's new Logi, Logi, whatever it is, lineup, this is the Logi base for both the iPad Pros. Let's check it out. The beautiful and simple Logi base. Made of a single cut of aluminum, it's actually quite nice to look at with its no frill designs and minimalistic approach. The base is smooth to the touch, but feels like it'll withstand quite a beating. And the foot of the dock is lined with a remountable sticky material. The only input is a lightning connection located on the back of the base, and the only output is a smart connector strip. Using the base does require that you use your own 12 watt iPad charger as nothing comes with the base. Charge times are estimated to be around 7 hours for the 12.9 inch and 5 for the 9.7 inch iPad Pro. Simply plug in the lightning cable and you're all set up. Find the smart connector on your iPad Pro and set it down. Avoid using USB output as that will significantly make it longer. I didn't test charge times because they're so long, a few minutes here and there won't really make a difference. And thanks to those magnets and a lack of an actual insertion of cables, you can loosely dock your iPad and the magnets will guide it in place. A solid aluminum, grippy bottom, and magnetic mount keeps the iPad sturdy in place, although you are stuck with a single 70 degree angle, which is higher than most docks. So it's definitely not designed to be touch typing friendly. The back post is lined with plastic to prevent the iPad from scratching against the aluminum, which just works as advertised. It holds its ground just as well for the 9.7, as well as the 12.9 iPad Pro. Now the biggest benefit I found is the free lightning port you have now, and for pencil users, this may be your deciding factor. Plug in your pencil while you charge your iPad and even throw the cap onto the magnetic mount to avoid losing it. Once you're done charging, I found that you can set your pencil behind the iPad, which keeps everything in one place. Although it will only charge when aligned to the smart connector, you are able to set the iPad in any direction. But do note the magnets will not align properly and it could slide out of place if knocked on. Compared to it being properly aligned, the iPad becomes a clingy boyfriend. And yes, the dock does work with cases, as long as it's designed to accommodate the smart cover or smart keyboard. For me, I found it was best used in two places, the first being my bedside table. When I finish for the night, I don't have to worry about finding the cable to plug it in and it's super helpful for hands-free Siri. Hey Siri, set my alarm to 6am. And the second place being my work desk, which sets it at a perfect angle to use as an extra screen of information, which I feel is what it's actually designed for, more so to help view your iPad than to actually use it, hence the high angle design. Unfortunately, the grip isn't wood friendly or any material where tape doesn't work well for that matter. And since the lightning cable isn't included, for anyone that still syncs to iTunes through a lightning cable, we'll have to unplug the dock from the charger and then into the actual iPad, then back to the charger when you're done. Which, yes, can be fixed if you switch to wireless or iCloud syncing, but I'm old school like that. It retails for 100 US and 130 Canadian and only comes in this silver color. Now, if you hate always having to plug in your iPad to charge it, well, the Logi Base. Maybe the dock for you. You'll never have to worry about plugging in again. Kinda, unless you, you know, need to dock it. Well, that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe below and leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see me review next. I rest my dock. Uh...